Hi guys, I am going to do the YouTube tag video. I'd actually watched a number of them, so I am not too sure who originated it. Uh, you know, but anyways, it was a really cool tag, so I thought I would give it a whirl. The most recent one I saw was from Little Poet Susan's channel, and it was the best and worst mature YouTube community tag, and it was her honest thoughts. And I really like that. So I've got the questions right here. I'm going to have to to look down on my iPad to read them. I have not um, really thought about what I was going to say, which goes against my grain. So uh, what are your favorite videos to watch is question number one. For me, that's easy. I am a um, historic type buff. I love historical novels. I love, you know, things like Outlander. I love anything, you know, historical romances, anything like that. So, um, not beauty related. I absolutely love watching some of the historical video clips that are on YouTube. Most of them are about an hour. They might take a famous character like Mary Queen of Scots or Queen Elizabeth I or, yeah, the Outlander era, you know, things of that nature. So I enjoy, that's an escape for me. So ultimately that's my, my favorite, but I know this question is, is leaned towards the mature, mature beauty community. So I would say that my favorite video to watch is I like to watch tutorials. I like to watch seeing someone apply say eyeshadow mainly because that's what I'm interested in. That's what I'm trying to master and learn. So I love watching tutorials. What is your favorite videos to film? Ooh. Well, I started my YouTube channel many moons ago and it was all about, you know, real estate at that point in time, lifestyle, and then it morphed into my RV. And I have for many, many years really done vlogging style videos where I've showcased an area or community or things of that nature. So I will have to say that my favorite videos that I like to film on my vlogging type, especially in the spring and summer and fall when we're camping and we're out there exploring nature and we're in our RV or we're riding a bike or we're hiking up a mountain up in Acadia. I love filming those types of videos. I love storytelling. They are on YouTube my least popular videos, but they're still my favorite videos to film. What are your least favorite videos to watch? Um, there's a couple things that come to mind, but I think my utmost least favorite video to watch is a rambling, incoherent type video, meaning that I want to read the title, I want to look at the thumbnail, and I expect to somewhat get what the title is talking about and what the thumbnail is showing. So when I open the video, in the first minute is someone going, I don't know, or I don't know, and I don't know, and just, you know, very repetitive, I totally lose interest in it. And so my least favorite videos are what I consider time sucks. They, they not even time sucks, they're just a waste of time to me. So long rambling, I don't know what I'm gonna talk about today, but let's just have a chit chat. I'm a busy person, I, I work 40 hours a week plus, and when I watch a video, I want it to have meaning. I want it to add something to me. So, and, and I know many people like rambling videos, and that's cool, that's fine, it's up to them, it's just my least favorite. My second least favorite is, um, when someone is on a video and they're telling other people uh, how they should act. You know, like as a mature woman, you shouldn't wear this type of, I shouldn't wear black eyeliner. You know, you've heard me say that before because I've had, I've had other creators actually say that. And, or a creator that has a bossy type attitude where her way is the only way. And there is, there's a, someone out there that is very much like that. And, you know, for me, that's my least least favorite. I kind of don't even watch their videos after a while because it's so opinionated and it's so geared to one way opinion. You know, opinionated meaning they name streets after that person one way. Um, that I don't like. What is your favorite part of the beauty community? Well, I've heard this. I've heard many people say the same thing, and I. I would totally agree. I think the favorite part of the beauty community is the community. And to me, the community is every single one of you out there watching. You know, I'm talking into a camera technically, but I'm really not. I'm talking to all of you. 
and every single one of you that leave comments that I start to recognize your names. In some cases, you have thumbnails, you have little images I can see and recognize your image. Every single one of you are the heart and soul of this community. Every single one of you. And so that's my favorite part. My favorite part is engaging with you all and engaging with fellow content creators because we have developed an amazing friendship. And, there's, and that's a huge, huge bond for me. And I love, I love that. So the community aspect is big for me. What motivated you to start your channel? Well, you know, my channel I started back in 2009 and it was purely for real estate. So my motivation was I knew the real estate market was changing and I knew the internet was changing how folks found real estate agents. And I felt strongly that we had to amp our game up and we had to get on there and create videos. And so that's what really motivated me in the beginning. And then I kept taking courses. I kept taking, because I'm a trainer, and I have to teach other agents how to do things. I keep trying to better myself. I challenge myself in my videos all the time. And so, yeah, I, you know, it was real estate, but then it morphed into lifestyle for me, and then it morphed into this mature community. And it's just been, it's just been really wonderful. What most inspires you on YouTube? Hmm. That's, that's a hard one because, again, it's going to come down to the community aspect of it how caring many, many of the content creators are and how wonderful all of the community members, the subscribers, the folks that are out there commenting and liking the videos. I think every day when I create a video, I, I always hesitate when I hit post or schedule it to post because I'm always afraid who's going to watch it. I'm always afraid that it's going to be boring. I'm always afraid that I'm going to look like an idiot. But I do it anyway, because even if I look like an idiot and one of you says, Oh, you know, that's not a great look for you. I can handle that because I believe you're saying it to me with love and kindness. And that's so inspiring. And that does keep me, does keep me going. Number one thing you would change about the YouTube beauty community. I think the only thing... You know, I really don't even know that it would change anything, but because this is this is a free world and all different personalities make up this community. So, you know, I, I think the one thing I, I would change if I could is make it easier for those people that are starting their channel, help them more. But I also realize that, and I know this in my industry, you can try to help someone, but if they're not willing to take it or listen to you, or even respect that you want to share that advice. If they're if they're just totally closed mind, it isn't gonna it isn't gonna happen. So, yeah, I don't know that it would really change anything. I really like the mature community a lot. What do you love about YouTube as a whole? Oh, wait a minute. So, question number nine: the number one advice to other creators, new people starting a channel. That's something I skipped. Starting a channel. Focus on content. Focus on trying to figure out what your video is about. What is your message? In real life real estate, when I have agents starting out on any kind of a social platform, I always say, what are your goals? So know what your goals are. And if your goals on YouTube is to, say, make a million bucks or retire and let YouTube support you, you have a lot of work ahead of you because that doesn't happen overnight and that doesn't happen all the time. It happens to some, but not all the time and not to most. So what are the goals for your channel? And if it is a numbers game to you, that is not the quickest way to get to where you want to be. That's actually the quickest way to not get to where you want to be. And I think some of the changes YouTube has done recently, I think it's been a directive because they've been trying to clean house. And you know, I'm okay with that. I think if, if new content creators focus on content, understanding what their goals are, having a message, delivering that message, you may not have the perfect lighting. I'm in my bathroom. I never thought I'd film ever, ever in my bathroom. But it seems to be the best setting for a lot of my videos. And I'm working on, you know, being in frame better. I'm working on trying to, you know, make sure that I'm set up better when I'm doing what I consider talking head videos, which is this, rather than out and about vlogging. So, you know, yeah, just really focus on the goals of your channel. Make sure you have a good directive of that. Be yourself. Be natural. 
and be open, open to ideas and suggestive, suggestions from other content creators. I'm also of the belief that if you go out and support other channels by liking and commenting on their channels, they will eventually recognize you and like and support your channel as well. It is you scratch my back, I scratch your back. When I know that there is a content creator commenting in my videos, I'm going to click over and go check their channel out. And if I like what I see, I'm going to support it. I'm going to like it and support it. I will never watch a video ever that I don't comment on. If I'm going to take the time to watch a video, I'm going to take the time to comment, to give it a thumbs up. Otherwise, why did I bother to watch it, in my opinion? So, yeah, that's, that's really my advice. What do I love about YouTube as a whole? For me, I love how much growth it's given me. I, and I'm not talking monetary because I'm not making money on, on my YouTube channel. I never really have. The growth it's given me is to explore new things like eyeshadow, like this little spiky look in my hair. You know, try out different cosmetics, try out different skincare items. And it's given me a confidence level to do that, to try that all out. Yeah, you know, uh, some people say, well, geez, you know, how'd you make it a fool of yourself? Well, to some people, maybe I am. But to me, I'm having fun at it. And I think, I think that in this whole community and every single one of you that are watching my videos, I think that's what I really love because you're with me in this journey. So when I make a total fool out of myself, you guys are all so forgiving. You really are. So, and that's what I love the most. It's a, we, we are learning and, and sharing and growing together as we travel this anti-aging. I mean, we are so fortunate today. We have resources and things available that our mothers didn't have at our age. And when I think back on my mother, when I think back on my grandmother at my age, I mean, I'm, I have a birthday coming up in a few days. I'm going to be 64. I do not feel 64. I don't feel it. And, and when I go and look in the mirror and I see my crow's feet and my wrinkles and I'm going, wow, well, you know, what do you expect? You're 64 almost. So, yeah, I, I just, I feel blessed. I feel blessed to have this community surrounding me and to have really found all of you and have it have the fact that you've all embraced me in your life is really awesome so I, I have no notes on what I'm saying I'm just looking down to make sure I get all the questions so yeah that was 10 what do you love about YouTube as a whole so I'm not going to tag a bunch of people I know people have probably been tagged left and right but if you haven't please go ahead and jump in and do the tag and um, I'm going to try I'm going to list Susan's channel because she's the last one that I saw and resonated with me I know I've watched a few do this tag before and I think it's a lot of fun so I hope that you guys jump in and do it and I look forward to hearing your answers and then let me know what do you think of my <laughs> my hippie spike my spiky spike my whatever you want to call it my spike I'm just playing around <laughs>